very definition of the one percent. No, we're not talking about Wall Street stock traders or even the CEOs down there. I'm talking about celebrities. They make as much as, if not more than the financial titans, the Occupy Wall Street protesters are railing against. Yet the progressive protesters haven't dared to target Hollywood or sports. Here with insights on this nonsensical behavior is economist and George Mason University economics professor and good friend of the show, Walter Williams. Professor Williams, always a pleasure. Welcome here. And good evening, Judge. So uh, tell us, who makes more money, typically CEOs or the top of the line athletes and, and superstars in Hollywood? And yet who's being targeted by this ragtag group downtown? Well, if, if you look at the uh, Forbes uh, celebrity list, it turns out that the top 10 celebrities, they earn an average of $100 million a year. The top 10 CEOs earn an average of $43 million a year. And so you might ask, well, how come the people who are stirring up the politics of envy and hatred uh, towards the CEOs for all the money that they're making, and not turning against Oprah and, 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 uh, and other people who are making uh, millions of dollars a year more than the CEOs. Well, I'll give you the reason. Let's hear that it. is, tyrants, they want to create envy and hatred towards the people whose operations they want to take over. That is, they want to take over the businesses in the United States, but they can't take over the Oprah show. They can't take over Le LeBron James and the, and the basketball, so they can make as, the celebrities can make as much money as they want, but the people who they want direct hatred, to, hatred and envy towards, they're the people whose lives they want to take over, okay. namely the companies of our country. You uh, wrote an interesting piece uh, recently in which you address the issue of who really pays taxes. When this crowd downtown and their supporters in the Democratic Party and in the White yeah. House want to raise corporate taxes, do they have any idea who actually pays corporate taxes? <laughs> Can you explain that for us, Professor Williams? Well, well I, I think that we have to recognize, and I think you, re you recognize very well, that corporations are legal fictions and as such they don't pay taxes. Just as if you put a, car, a tax on a car, Virginia has a car tax, but do you, do you think cars pay taxes? There's property taxes. Property doesn't pay taxes. Only people pay taxes. So if you impose a tax on a corporation, the corporation, if it's going to stay in business, it's going to do one of three things or some combination of them. They're going to raise the price of the product so people pay the tax. They're going to lower dividends. Again, people pay the tax. And they're going to lay off workers. Again, people pay the tax. So uh, corporations are not tax. Uh, they don't pay taxes. Right. They collect taxes and send them to the government. So we should call it corporations tax collectors. You, you, you got it. And you explained it so nicely. Uh, and we're deeply grateful for that. Walter Williams, always a pleasure. Thanks very much uh, for joining us. Uh, and thank you, and happy anniversary. Thank you. Thank you, Professor. It's not just the feds.